Right, so we're off to Palmerston Road now. A big sort of obelisk. Is that an eye? Is that an eye on its side? We don't know. Very strange clouds today. And uh, that's Portsmouth. So there we are. We're off to Palmerston Road to give out some more leaflets. It's just half past 12 now. And we've still got about 12 people with us. The Council of Twelve. And <laughs> so this is Patrick Lynch from the Free Truth Show. And we'll be right back. Well, here we are again. We're in Palmerston Road now, is that right? Palmerston Road. And we're all still here after a bit of a walk. And uh, uh, Doug's joined us again, and Jane Long, and Niall is still here, and Hailing Skywatch, and uh, X Factor is shite. And what's your name again? Prince Buster 93 from YouTube. How about that? Superb. We've still got Glenn and Sam here from Deansy and um, I've forgotten your name. Rob Bob. That's it. Rob Bob on Facebook. There you go. Face to the name. We have you in the central computer now. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> and um, superb. Look at that. Doug, what a trooper. And um, so here we are. I'm going to stop saying here we are. That's a lot. Oh, there's a nice little dove symbolism there. We've got a little setup here. Why, who? This is Jane Long stuff. Uh, chemtrails, look up. Uh, chemtrails are not contrails. Look up on YouTube and Facebook, Fedbook. Stop harp, stop chemtrails. Total environmental devastation. That about covers it. Chemtrails are not contrails. Crime. Yeah, that's it. What's being sprayed? Uh, what's being sprayed? Asbestos sized. Synthetic fibres and toxic metals, including barium salts, aluminium oxide, and red radioactive thorium, uh, on a par with arsenic and a suppressant of the human immune system. Barium weakens muscles, including the heart. Inhaled aluminium goes directly to the brain, and medical specialists confirm it causes oxidative stress with brain tissue, leading to formation of Alzheimer's like neurofibrillia tangles. Radioactive thorium is known to cause leukemia and other cancers. So that's the stuff they're spraying on us. The press won't report on it, so we have to. Um, can I ask Kayling Skywatch a few questions? Yes. Um, how do you feel the public are responding to what we're giving them today? And, and when you talk to people generally yourself in Hailing Island, um, what's the response? Is it, is, it, is it getting better? I feel it is. I want to know if you've noticed yeah, the same thing. Yeah, kind of subliminally it's getting better, rather than sort of... Um perhaps a complete uh, resistance to any new information coming their way. I think it's filtering through the subconscious of the nation. I think that, right. um, or perhaps it was just a nice day, you know, or better day today in Portsmouth. But uh, mostly people are, t you know, taking a leaflet and in are interested to have a look at it. But uh, as to really finding out about what chemtrails is, I don't think there's much awareness about that on the conscious end of um, humanity, you know, in and around Portsmouth today anyway. Did that answer your question or did I ramble on? Absolutely, that was perfect. No, I totally agree. Uh, it's accelerating, that people's knowledge is increasing. And uh, uh, yeah, I just wanted you to share that with the public because um, and give them hope, really, because it is worth doing what we're doing. Yeah, well, thanks for the encouragement. That's, that's your, uh, well, you make videos. Go to yeah. Hailing Skywatch and yeah. watch your videos because you, you filmed the spraying over Hailing Island and um, you're an inspiration to me, so thank you. Thank you. That's a chemtrail up there being sprayed right now, folks. Let's see if that one spreads out and forms a bank of cloud. It's starting to spread out. You can see it there spreading out. Difficult to zoom in on, it's quite blue over there. The pigeon just tried to take my head off as well. Easy boys. It is spreading out, isn't it? Just under that right hand. 
doing this for the video. It's spread out really quickly. It has spread out really quickly. Yeah, there it is there. You can maybe be able to see it. It depends what's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of Certainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Help yourself, madam. Thank you. Have you heard of chemtrails before? Yeah, my son was telling me about the latest. Right. Yeah, my brother and Right. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So they're starting to spray over there now. Um, her brother had heard about it and her son had heard about it, I think she said. And she asked me for one of the leaflets. That's very encouraging. Excellent. So somebody is doing a job somewhere like we're doing and that's how the lady knows about it, she wants a leaflet. That's the way to do it folks. Look at the sky, look at the sky, it's not blue because they're spraying you. The nice one hailing. Yeah, get the world in. Superb. With a, with a chemtrail going into the world and over it, yeah, from, yeah. Superb. We should make that a chemtrail shop. Just squat it and take it over and turn it into a chemtrail info shop. A kiss. Spell chemtrail with K. Yeah, you can see that chemtrail is really spreading out now. Especially over there. There we are. We can show that to the people now. Just point that out. There we are. That's it. That's the one that was sprayed about five minutes ago. You see the... Whatever's in it is... Gravity is pulling it down. You can see there. So, there we are. That's a chemtrail right up in the sky now. Spreading out and forming a bank of cloud. Not a contrail. See those trails there? Looks very similar, doesn't it? You see? There we are. Very similar, isn't it? There we are. Portsmouth Chemtrail Info Day. Um, I think there are a bunch of shells. Um, we've got Jane here and Jane. There's Jane and Jane. And um, they don't want to be on cam, but uh, they don't like it. Um, but uh, we're making some good points about in the future. We know all about this now, so we're prepared. So when everyone freaks out and realizes en masse what's happening, am I right? Uh, we'll, be, we'll be in a position to, to calm people down and, and give them, present the facts, and we'll, we'll be credible because we've done it all and people know us. And we may be able to help people, you know. Yes. So is that, was that your point? Can you yes. expand on that? Uh, Jane, um, Jane won. 
Oh, I just think... No, that, well, go ahead, Jane. I think that people, <laughs> most people are, they are unaware of what's happening, but they're also scared to um, inquire and ask about this, um, because it's yep. not the masses. But soon, it will be in everyone's place, and, yep. you know, populations everywhere are going to be absolutely terrified. Yep. And the fear that they, the thing that they are afraid of is... It's working for for the people we are against, you know, that are doing this. And people's ignorance isn't their bliss. It will become their hell because they need, it's their right, to live in a safe and a free society. Um, yeah. You know, it's total... It's total... I don't know. I, don't I think know. in the future, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have to set up kind of people's hospitals for people with more gallons because they can't get help from the doctors. You know, uh, Dr. Rebecca Carley, people like that running the place with public funding. Yeah. You know, uh, it's all linked up. It's got to be done at some stage because people are going to be dropping like flies and or turning into zombies and chasing people down the streets for their brains or something. I don't know. Uh, well, we'll just be beyond... We're already seeing the zombification of the nation through through articles and pre-programming. Yeah, yeah. Who knows what kind of drugs is, is in that chemtrail? You know. Mm -hmm. Well, and what it's reacting with. What right. we have in our bodies already. Altering our DNA. How it's reacting with what we have in our bodies already, which the scientists know very well. That's bioengineering, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's bioengineering. Yeah. And they're calling it um, geoengineering now, which sounds quite scientific for most people to get their heads around. Yeah. So how's that? Chemtrail is quite a basic way of explaining. It's a, a trail of chemicals up in the sky. And uh, you're just breathing and soaking them in every day. And it's 24-7. Lately, it's been getting really intensified. In the last year, it has intens intensified. I've noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. The plan is, you know, whatever's going on, plan, scheme, whatever you want to put, a label you have to put on it. Um, they have a schedule and they're working to it. But lately, it's, it seems like they're rushing it already. Jane, yeah. um, yeah. Uh, speak to the other Jane just briefly. Mm. You wanted to talk about how we may be able to help people in the future. But how did you find out about this yourself? And what made you come out today? You know? um, because um, I think well, I've just we've been on a massive learning curve in the last four years, and yep. um, kind of just being aware of my environment, what's around me, looking up into the sky, starting to realise that there's something unnatural going on, um, and been through all the emotions of freaking out and right. You were scared. saying yeah, the grieving and, and the shock and the horror. Everything is horror. designed to kind of. Um, uh, promote fear. Yeah. And if we buy into that Stun vibration, into paralysis. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. if we buy into that vibration and think we're helpless and we can't do anything, that's where we'll stay. But ultimately there is a higher vibration that will unite us eventually, I hope. <laughs> well talking about vibrations, I haven't looked into it um, very much. You know, I know it I know it's a big part of some people's sort of mindscape and I respect that, you know, as I would respect other people's religions if you like you know but uh, we are we are energy mm -hmm. to condense into this physical form I agree um, if you believe anything's possible then we have the power to create a better future what I was going to say was the fact that we're vibrations and creating this environment where we're educating the public and, and doing good things getting get the information out there I think that creates uh, an energy in itself, it does. A, a momentum. That's mm -hmm. what I'm after, a yes. momentum to stop it, yes. enough people. Yeah, I agree. And that's why I think meditation, uh, there's so many... It can be helpful, yeah. I think there's yeah. different ways of approaching this. And sustainable, everything's sustainable as well. That's another key word. Oh, okay. and, and we've alre we're already trained to, to, to be eco, see? They put words in sustainable, you know. Mm sustainable living this but apparently we're not sustainable they want to kill 90% of us so that's yeah. depopulation I believe it's depopulation weather modification and I think it's got a hundred different ideas well thanks Jane You're thanks very much country. thank you yeah that's, cool. that. yeah, that's a contrail yeah. that, that speed that, that one's a contrail, contrail. Yeah. which is great yeah. it's just water vapor Hot air mixed with yeah. cold air. Yeah, see, that, that's a classic difference between a contrail and a chemtrail, isn't it? Because that's dispersing after like 30 seconds or less. And uh, the one that left that about half an hour ago, it spread out to form a bank of cloud. There we are.
chemtrail. And in fact, you can from gravity, you can see all the heavy metals being pulled down. It's not going outwards. It's the, the, the metals are being pulled down from gravity. Sir, there's one chemtrail up there right now. All the, see, see all the heavy metals coming down out of it? Thank you, sir. Thanks for your interest.